In this video, we'll create an installer for a Mac OS X application. We'll start with the application and folder itself that has the application, the user's guide, and in a commercial application, you're likely to have lots of other files and folders that you want to install. In general, installing an application on Mac is a lot simpler than on Windows because you don't have registry setup information. You don't have a lot of file associations to set up. So in general, uh, you could, in the simplest case, just provide the information on a CD. They could drag it to their applications folder and they'd be up and running. But in a commercial application, you're likely to want to do some additional things. For example, you'll probably want to password protect your application if you put it on the, on the web so that not just anyone can download and start using your application. You'll probably want to compress it so it downloads faster, it stores it on less space on the CD. You'll probably want a license agreement that the user has to acknowledge on startup before they can install and run your application and maybe do a little vendor branding. So let's get started. We're going to uh, use this applications folder with our information. We're going to use a few other files uh, to build the installer. Uh, a logo file, an icon file representing the application, a background image on their installer window, and a license agreement. We'll now build our installer from our application folder of files using the click install tool from Excel software. So we'll double click on the application. It brings up an empty record that allows you to find all the information required to construct the installer file. So we'll give a name to the record and let's uh, select a logo that we can place in the installer window. Uh, we'll basically select a logo picture that we have on disk and we can decide if this installer should run on PowerPC computers, Intel computers, or be built as a universal binary that runs on all Mac OS X computers. After we've set up some of the preference information, uh, we'll OK out of out of this dialog to save it and then now we're going to fill in all the information within this record that will be required to construct our installer. We'll start by selecting our applications folder. So there's the applications folder with all the files that we want to be included within the installer. Uh, we'll select the folder into which the, uh, the actual setup file will be uh, placed once it gets generated. So there's the folder. Uh, let's go one folder above there. Okay, and then this will be the name of our actual setup file that will be generated. Uh, we'll go ahead and include the logo uh, that we selected earlier. And uh, we can decide whether we want the user to be prompted for the folder into which the information will be installed or go ahead and install to the uh, default location, which is the Applications folder on Mac. We can decide whether or not we want to prompt the user if uh, that application has already been installed or not, or just go ahead and replace it. Uh, we can also decide if we want to put a password on the installation process, and in this case we'll uh, type in a password uh, that the user must enter before they can actually install the software. Now a lot of times you'll want to have a link uh, perhaps to your website that the user can see uh, prior to installing and they can get more information about your company, other products that you have, and uh, you can uh, include the actual URL that uh, decides where the user goes when they click uh, the link shown in the dialog, and the uh, displayed URL, which is actually uh, what's actually shown in the dialog. Sometimes you may want some additional parameters added to the actual URL. So here's a message that we're going to type in that's going to be at the top of the installer window. We can uh, place a picture uh, in the top corner of the installer window. So in this case, we'll uh, select a little icon for application. We'll select a background image for the installer window. We can execute an application prior to installing and then get results from that application uh, sent to the installer to actually determine like whether the uh, computer that you're installing to has the appropriate resources or whatever before actually beginning the installation process. Uh, we could also run an application immediately after installing 
if you want to do some type of registration or something like that. A lot of times on a commercial application, you're going to want the user to actually acknowledge a license agreement before actually allowing them to install and use your software. So we have a simple little license agreement drawn up here. So we'll click uh, the import button and just import a text file with the license agreement in it. Or we can just type into this field that actually shows the actual text that we've imported here. The text of our license agreement. Uh, we might uh, want to present some information to the user, maybe a change list of all the changes with this new version. Uh, you can put all that information into this section of the dialog and uh, have an info button that the user can uh, bring that information up before actually installing. Uh, you may want to change your copyright information at the bottom of the installer window. Uh, the title of your installer window. We pretty much got everything set up now. So we're going to set the build uh, upload zip file. That way we're going to do two things now. We're going to build the installer and we're also going to build a zip file of the installer that we can place directly on our website. So we click the build button and the first thing that gets built is the installer itself and then the actual zip of that install, uh, setup file is going to be built. Everything's done now. So we can now take a look at the two files that we've constructed, the actual installer file and a zip file that you can place on your site ready for download of your application. Your installer file is now ready to drag and burn to a CD or you can upload the zipped version to your website when someone double clicks on the link. It will automatically download and decompress and they'll see the installer uh, file on their uh, computer. To install, the user just double clicks and they'll see the setup uh, window where they are prompted to uh, enter a password. Uh, they can click the link and go to a website that you've defined or they can enter the password. If they don't enter the password, what they're going to see is the license agreement and uh, then they're going to get an invalid password message. So let's say they do enter the password correctly. They'll click the install button, get the license agreement. They can read and then confirm the license agreement and the installation process will then start. And now it's complete and we see that your folder has been installed with all of the files and folders nested within it within the uh, applications uh, folder on the Mac. As you've seen, it's pretty quick and easy to build a professional software installer using Click Install. Let's look at a couple other features that might come in handy. For example, over time you'll probably want to build maybe a trial edition of your software. Maybe you have a standard and a pro edition. So you can just create a separate installer record for each one. And then whenever you want to build an installer, you just click to that record and click the build button. And all the information that's unique to that installer is in one place. And with a one button click, you get a new updated version of the installer. Another thing you might want to do is if you want to uh, present your application in different languages, uh, Click Install supports Unicode text encoding, so you can change all the text within uh, the application. You can also uh, add your own uh, labels for buttons and uh, messages that are presented to the user, and you can do that in whatever language you want when you construct the installer. Lastly, you might want to uh, if you have a really, really large application, you may actually need to uh, partition it across multiple CDs. So you can do this uh, by setting up some options on the preference dialog. Uh, that can also uh, come in handy, for example, if you have a really large application and you want to make it available to uh, users with slow uh, download uh, capability. So you could uh, partition it into multiple files, place it on your website. They would just basically download all the files into a folder click on the uh, first setup file and then it would uh, take over and, and install your entire application. Uh, if it's on multiple CDs, you, they place the first CD in the drive, double click, starts the uh, setup process and it prompts for the additional CDs that it needs. Well, that's the whole process of creating a uh, professional uh, Mac software installer using Click Install.